start now. Okay, good. I think it's time. Um, so, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we will talk about how we will connect uh, the human dots into the digital world and we'll provide you some best practices for post corona working. The session will take 20 minutes, so uh, I will propose to ask a question uh, at this, uh, the end of the session, if that's okay with you. So, before we start the presentation, just a little introduction of who are we. We are with two speakers. Uh, so, I'm Ines de Klerk. Uh, I'm an account manager at DropSolid. This is my second DrupalCon. So last year um, I did my session uh, why UX testing is a, yeah, a must and how we can iterate it towards an editorial experience. So if you're also interested in that topic, please do reach out to me at our uh, DropSolid booth. And we have Sarah. Yep. So I'm Sarah. I'm service delivery manager at DropSolid. Uh, that means I manage projects. So from a, I'm a project manager, so I deal with clients and projects. And on the other hand, I'm a team leader for one of our solutions teams, Team Rock. Okay, good. So you hear we're both from DropSolid, so really small. Uh, in a nutshell, who is DropSolid? So we're also the diamond sponsor of this uh, DrupalCon. Uh, but we're a digital agency who are passionate about Drupal, who has Drupal in their DNA. And uh, as of today, um, we are with more or less 90 uh, employees who are really yeah, passionate by contributing to the com community and by uh, providing workshops and trainings uh, to actually get to know um, people Drupal uh, because we believe that Drupal can be the basis for our open Drupal digital experience platform that can be the basis to make a connection with marketing automation, with personalization. But if you want to know more about the, our open digital experience platform, please do reach out to our um, beloved uh, colleague Milou de Hon or our founder uh, Dominique de Coman who is always standing at our booth. Yes, so that was, no offense, the sales pitch and the numbers. Um, but for this presentation, it's very important that you also know what DropSolid as a company is about and what the people are about. Um, I joined DropSolid in March 2020, uh, beginning of March, which was still a good time. Um, and at that time, this was DropSolid. Uh, we had about 70 employees who were really very connected. Uh, we have our bases in Belgium. We have two locations there. Uh, so about half of our developers are uh, local people and the other half more or less is remote. Uh, but the locals were really used to working from the office. They really came to the office a lot. Uh, there was a lot of fun there, nice atmosphere. Um, we also liked to celebrate things. So whenever there was an event or uh, something to celebrate or a presentation, an office presentation, uh, people came to the office. We made sure that it was fun. We had cakes, we had drinks. So a lot of life at the office. Uh, Belgians, that's what we are. We like to drink and eat. So whenever there was a birthday uh, or an after hour, uh, a happy hour, we went out of the office as well and we, we joined each other and we joined people from other teams to really connect. So that was 2020 before the pandemic hit. Um, of course, we all remember that moment. And as of then, we, we suddenly all had to work from home. Uh, couldn't leave our home, couldn't see our colleagues. So for everyone, that was a very, very big change. So this is what we want to talk about in this speech. Yes. Uh, due to COVID, we had to limit our context. Indeed, like Sarah said, we had to work from home. Um, so as Job Solid, we had the feeling that we lost the connection with our customers, but also with our employees and between the employees. For example, our customers, we had to provide the training online, so via Google Meet or Teams meetings. But it is, as you already know, I think, um, if you do a Teams meeting, it's always uh, more easy than to go to your emails and uh, finish your task that has to be done by the end of the day. So your attention span on, uh, on a Google meeting or a Teams in, uh, meeting is really short. So we really had to make sure if we do a training of a workshop to make it very short, to make it very interactive, um, 
and make sure that we understood what is the human need that we need to pinpoint and to provide them the correct answers. Um, also with our customers staying at homes, uh, they have their own, own children that they have to take care of or other uh, stuff that they had to deal with. So behind the ca camera, a lot of people also put up a wall. So it was really hard uh, to read the body language, to read the emotions, to, s to find a connection. But also with our employees, uh, like Sarah said, she started in COVID, so it was really hard to find a connection with your colleagues, to know who are they, what is their function, uh, but also to collect all the information that is inside the brain of a colleague, because some people do doesn't have the reflex to put all the information in their head into a content hub or via email. So there was a little bit miscommunication and there was not time to celebrate or um, to talk during uh, lunch or having a coffee. So it made sure that the connection was lost. So that's why we did um, a lot of efforts to stay connected and we will give you some examples to show how we, we wanted to make the feeling go away and to make sure that we become closer to our customers and employees. Yeah, so the first one of the first things that management did um, was introduce something maybe small but very very um, high in value. Um, they after I think a, a week they introduced uh, the daily drop solid news, uh, short videos that they shared through our WhatsApp group and through email. Um, it could contain anything, just news, the news of the day, maybe a sales deal that had uh, come through or a website that went live or a project that was really going well, but even some private news uh, once in a while. And that was really, that was really nice. Um, at first it was one of our founders, Dominic, who took uh, that job, who, who made a video every day, uh, always from a different location, sometimes from his garden, sometimes from the city park, sometimes when he was running or when he was on his bike. But every day he took the time to make a video to really make sure that everyone was up to date with what was happening in the company. And then after a while, the whole management took over. So each and every one of the managers uh, made a video. So they all, they all took turns. And after a few weeks or months, uh, actually the whole company started to participate. So even developers, uh, service delivery managers, anyone um, was recording a daily news with their news of the day. So it could come from their, uh, from their own team or it could be something they picked up uh, from other teams or indeed private news. So. During the pandemic, uh, we knew about all announcements of uh, marriages that were coming up, uh, even pregnancies were announced through those daily news and even some babies were born and that news was spread during those videos as well. We're not gonna show you all of the videos, there were like hundreds of episodes uh, after the pandemic, uh, but we'll show you a quick compila compilation just to give Hi you the idea. Hi everyone, this is uh, the next episode of the Daily Update. So, good evening everyone, uh, today is my turn. Hello, we are so <laughs> <laughs> and we upload it to episode 11, episode 44, episode 80, episode 83, episode 85. I lost number of the last episode, but since far we stopped counting. We are finishing the strategic track for Burenbold and on the Gilde. I'm going to have a sort of camping trip my, with my oldest daughter. Today we made plans for a marketing campaign. We hosted our very first Drop Solid ETP session today. Today is exactly four years when I met my wife. That was it for today, so see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye-bye. There you go. So, small impression, but it uh, was very valuable. And then in our uh, WhatsApp channel, uh, we were really waiting for the daily news, and there were tons of reactions each time with thank you messages, with people sharing what they had done that day, sharing pictures of how they were having aperitif or how they were uh, spending their Friday evening uh, before they were heading into the weekend. So a lot of positive vibes, which really made us feel we are not alone in this. Uh, I don't know if you remember the pandemic, but it was a very lonely time, and this was really a highlight in, in our lives, and it really uh, kept us connected with the company. One other thing that they did was uh, occasionally they surprised us with something in our mail. Um, for instance, for Easter's or when there was another holiday coming up, we received Belgian chocolates. Uh, or, for instance, this is a, a picture of when we had, um, I think it was a quarterly review, which is normally an office event. Uh, they sent each and every one of us a box with some drinks and uh, chips so that you could enjoy them during the online presentation. Um, what else? We, of course, within the teams, we also tried to keep up the spirits. 
uh, Adrian, I think you're in the audience, you're actually in the picture here. Uh, we had some uh, online team apparels, we tried to do some online gaming, just try to find some um, time, some quality time apart from talking about work uh, to make everything a little bit lighter. But also for our customers, we want to do uh, something special. So we made a thank you cards uh, by the end of the year. So uh, for Christmas, we sent them a, a thank you card to actually say thank you for being our customers. Thank you for being you. Um, but also make sure like we're there for you. It's OK um, to have a bad uh, day. Uh, but be aware, we're there for you. We can help you with everything you want, private, per, uh, professional, and from a distance, yet close by but we're always there. <coughs> Another way is also we investigated a lot of time in account management. So our CEOs, in collaboration with our sales team, uh, had contact with several customers each day. So each day they actually made a phone call and checked in like, how are you, um, how you're dealing with your kids, is there something we can help? So really human to human and not talking about projects or how is the business going, but actually make it more personal and actually what energized the people of doing their job. Then another way was information sharing on social, because as I told you earlier this meeting, a lot of people had uh, to focus on their kids or um, to deal with other uh, private stuff. Um, so there were different working hours. Uh, and it was really important for us to gather all the information, post it on a video, post it on a blog, that people can actually read it whenever they want, whenever they are ready for it. Um, and that they can make it more interactive because there were a lot of webinars that moment. So we really had to make a distinction um, and make sure that we can capture all the questions, all the cases that they were dealing at the moment that we can show our um, expertise. So indeed, we have put a lot of time, we have put a lot of effort to stay connected with our customers, to stay connected with our employees. We have shown several uh, cases, but we did so much more. So indeed, Corona uh, of COVID was a bitch, uh, but it does have uh, written a positive story. So uh, COVID had also created a huge opportunity for the digital agency. Uh, so me as an account manager, I can really see a digital shift. So a lot of customers um, that I have seen before COVID are now digital mature enough to actually make a jump into the digital world, to actually yeah, be aware that a website is not only a visiting card, but also something that is uh, yeah, an experience platform to share your knowledge, to share information, or when your physical shop uh, is blocked by COVID, that you can actually promote your products and make an e-commerce. So with the digital shift, due to the fact with Corona that we did a lot of efforts to stay connected, we are actually aware of the human needs, what they, what they have been through to COVID, what, uh, what was the, yeah, the one step that they needed to make to make the jump into the digital uh, world, and now we're ready to catch them. But of course, there's a lot of extra steps and extra efforts to actually guide them in the digital shifts. So what is the guidance? The guidance stays important, even though that uh, video calls and video meetings um, are always less time consuming, more efficient, um, personal contact always stays important. So it's really important to go to the customers um, and ask like, what are you doing today? Who is your colleagues? Uh, what is your desk? How is the building? And actually uh, be interested and get to know them, get to know their job, get to know their human needs um, to find a collection and to connect it with putting it on a website or into the digital world. But also with, also with your employees, just the personal contact stays important to be all together, to be one team uh, within a project, but also for your customers. Like one team, one happy team will also lead to a happy customer. So here you can also see uh, a team picture. There are now more people um, uh, on board, so we have to retake the picture in a, in a couple weeks. <laughs> yes, um, so a lot of crappy things came from Corona, a lot of positive things in our case as well. Uh, now, Drop Solid has always been a very value-driven company. So we have five values uh, that were there from the start, and uh, we use these values in everything we do. So in our strategy and mission and vision, but also in our recruitment process, for example. So we will always try to find a fit with these values. Um, now, with all the, the changes that we made uh, because of the pandemic and all the positive outcomes that we saw, we really wanted to make sure that also those positive things were not uh, left to waste. So. Uh, 
Um, we formed a working group. We thought about uh, the future of working at Drop Solids. Uh, we talked to experts, we did our research, and actually the, the best outcome uh, that we decided to do was to just add another value to our DNA. So we added a sixth value, which is simply the connect value. So since half a year ago, I think, uh, this is officially, uh, these are the six values of drop solids. So that means we actually, uh, we everything that we do, we also think about how does this fit in our value connect. Um, now, of course, to m really incorporate this in your culture, uh, you have to do more than just name the value and put it on your website. You have to also do some practical changes. So one of the changes we did is also in evaluations. Uh, so up until then, we really did go over those values, the five ones, and really checked like how did you grow, how did you challenge yourself, how do you, uh, how do you trust your, uh, your fellow team members, etc. So we are adding the connect value. So we will be looking in evaluations into like how are you feeling, uh, do you feel connected, uh, what have you done to really stay connected, well, how can you improve, what can you do next year, etc. So this is an important one. Uh, secondly, within each team, uh, we've uh, appointed an ambassador. So uh, one person will always uh, pinpoint opportunities for the team to connect. Uh, it can be projects, it can be events, it can be just uh, chats between people, but these ambassadors will really, um, really try to make everyone do an effort. Uh, and if they feel that their team is being too much on their island, they will really take initiatives to uh, improve this connection. And then some digital small changes sometimes, but they really have had their effect. Uh, so all of our events at the office are live streamed. It's not always ideal, but it's a step. Uh, so as we said, uh, we like to have celebrations, we like to have parties, so there's always a video screen open for people at home to be able to enjoy it as well. Um, meetings are recorded. Uh, during meetings, it might be something very small, but I think, I don't know how many remote people are in here, uh, but when you're in a meeting and there's like four people in the meeting room and one, people, uh, one person remote, that's horrible, right? So what we did improve is that everyone has to uh, log into the meeting online, has to show their face at the camera, uh, make sure that the, the, aud the audio is well. So we did invest a little bit in our audio and, and video system. So that has improved. And everything that is business related, all meetings are now also documented. So we really invested in a, in a hub to make sure that all knowledge is centralized so that even if you weren't in the meeting or if the audio wasn't that good, that you're actually able to, uh, to pick up that information. So that was it. Okay, so to conclude our presentation, we have uh, gathered three key takeaways. So the first one is uh, human connection remains, remains essential for your employees, but also for your customers. Second, the small improvements, like Sarah said, it can have a huge, a huge impact. Um, even though it's really small, like uh, sending um, them a box, it can make a huge difference. Um, and the third one is uh, embody the value connects in the organizational culture. So thanks for listening to us. I see we uh, have two minutes left. So if you have some questions, please ask them right away or come to the booth. Uh, and we have all the time. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>